thinking about getting solar? In today's video, we will break down the pros and cons of installing solar panels for your home. From cutting down your energy bills and reducing your carbon footprint to the upfront costs and maintenance considerations, we will cover everything you need to know to make an informed decision. Here at The Energy Professor, we want to give you the information you need to not only save money on your energy bill, but also to become more energy efficient. We hope you find this video helpful and it makes it easier for you to know more about the pros and cons of solar. Be sure to check out our solar tool in the description of this video to calculate how much you could be saving at your address by switching to solar panels. Let's start with the pros of solar energy. Number one, lower electric bill. One of the biggest pros of solar energy is simply saving money. If you are a person looking to significantly lower your energy bill, you should consider switching to solar energy. We consider this such a pro of solar energy because depending on how much electricity you can generate with your panels, you could make your money back. Some solar panel owners are even able to sell excess energy back to their local energy provider for a profit. Number two, solar is renewable and reduces your carbon footprint. Since solar energy is fully renewable, we never run out of it and it will be accessible for as long as the sun still shines. Even if there are shortages of fossil fuels, solar energy can be harnessed anywhere in the world and is readily available. Of course, reducing your carbon footprint by using solar panels using a renewable energy source is also a pro to solar power. Solar panels do not release any carbon dioxide. And while there is a slight carbon output for the production of the solar system itself, it is lower than that output of fossil fuels. Number three, low maintenance costs. Another big pro for solar power is that they have very low yearly maintenance costs. Once they are installed on your roof, you should only need to keep them maintained. There are no moving parts inside of the solar panel, which leaves less room for breaks or wear and tear. The only part that should be changed is the inverter, which needs to be changed every 5 to 10 years to keep it working with maximum efficiency. Number 4. It improves your home value. Another large advantage of solar panels is that adding them to your home can significantly increase its value. If you ever want to sell your home, you can include the panels in the cost. On average, a typical solar panel can add almost $15,000 to the value of your home. That's an average of about 4.1% of a home's value. Number five, incentive programs. One of the best pros of solar energy is that it has become more affordable now than ever before. Since 2015, costs have dropped about 22% on a full solar system. That is mainly because of the financial incentives available to those looking to install solar panels in their homes. Now that we've discussed some major pros of solar, let's consider the cons. Number one, expensive startup cost. Costs can be both a pro and con of solar energy in that while they can save you money in the long run, they are very expensive to start up. According to Forbes, the average cost of a solar panel is about $16,000 with the high end being around $35,000 and the low end being $3,500. The cost for solar isn't only the panels, it will include the inverter, wiring, and the cost of installation. Cost of solar panels, however, are plummeting as technology is developing, so we can anticipate the cost getting lower and lower as the years go on. Number two, it's not accessible for every home. While there are panels for just about every single home, the orientation of your home may not be the best for a solar panel installation. If your roof is in a shaded area or isn't positioned to receive maximum sunlight, you might not want to spend the money to install the solar system on your roof. Number three, they could be hard to install. We think that this is a con because it is another added expense. On top of needing either a contractor or a solar installer to put the panels on your house, you will also need to obtain proper city permits for the work to be done. Number four, weather and daylight dependency. Solar energy is appropriate for most homes throughout the country, but can be rather inefficient in certain climates. Cloudy and rainy days can still provide energy to solar panels, but are much less efficient compared to how they work on a sunny day. Number four, it's a long-term financial liability. While being able to finance or lease a solar panel system can be a huge positive to get over the financial barrier of installation, it can also be a big con. Solar leases can typically last 20 to 25 years which means it is many years to maintain and budget to not miss a payment for your solar panel. 
if you happen to come across an unforeseen financial trouble within that time frame, you are still obligated to pay for your panels. This can be a huge burden, especially if you're in a pinch. We hope you found this video helpful, and if you're looking to save money on your energy bill, head over to theenergyprofessor.com and use our free, one-of-a-kind energy savings calculator to instantly see how much you can be saving each month in energy costs. And if you're looking for ways to increase the energy efficiency and sustainability in your home, be sure to take a look at all the latest renewable energy options in your area. The Energy Professor helps residential and small business owners find qualified energy suppliers in New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Texas, Ohio, Maryland, Illinois, and Massachusetts. Thank you for watching and happy savings.